Sim racing is absolutely blowing up in current time. But the real question is, is if you get a racing simulator, is it actually gonna help your driving in real life? Well, let me tell you a little story. Just a couple months ago, I got invited out to go to Mid-Ohio to teach some of the NASCAR drivers around how to be a little bit quicker on that track. If you're familiar with NASCAR, you know that their main focus is on circle track. So a lot of these guys' backgrounds does not have much road course racing at all. And the two driving styles between being fast on a circle track and being fast on a road course are really two wildly different styles. So they need to be brushed up on how to properly get around a corner, how to carry the momentum through the turns. And a lot of the driver coaches that were going with me out to mid-Ohio, they've actually never been at that circuit before. So they were kind of uncomfortable training drivers on how to be fast through there. Well, what we did is we invited them down here to our facility, jump on our simulators that you see behind me and get some of that real life practice in. Every single one of those driver coaches that came down here and practiced on the simulator credited the simulator to being faster when they got to mid-Ohio. They felt that their practice on the simulator directly translated to them being quicker and being able to be a better driver coach to the NASCAR drivers when they had to be. So does that mean that all racing simulators are going to help you be faster? The simple answer is no. You see, not all racing simulators are built the same. There is a wild difference between quality and realism between all the simulators that you'll find out there on the market. If you come across a company like ours here at SimCoaches, our philosophy is simple. We focus on realism and our entire goal is to make things as close to one-to-one -one as possible. And we do that by providing incredibly realistic hydraulic pedals down there by your feet, an absolutely magnificent direct drive base that gives you every single detail that you want when you're turning the steering wheel and giving you the graphics and every all the details that you need to see when you're actually on here driving. But there's plenty of simulators that lack in these areas. Simulators that are built fairly cheap come with really plastic pedals or pedals that don't require the force that it takes you out there, you know, to press on the brake in real life. And the problem with simulators like this is you're not actually building your muscle memory. You're not truly learning what it feels like to slow the car down when you come into the corner, how to spike your brake pressure, how much brake pressure does it take, when to brake. And when you get there in real life and you do the real thing in real life, it feels completely different. And so that muscle memory that you just built on the simulator doesn't actually translate to being out there on the track. So it's incredibly vital to understand that when you're racing on the simulator, sure, it totally can help you be a better driver, but the simulator has to be built in such a way to actually feel much less like a video game and much more like a training tool. You see, I started racing when I was six years old and my parents put me in go-karts. And I credit that today a whole lot starting at such a young age to really learning how a vehicle talks to you as a driver. Now, I have a belief that if you were to take me at six years old and instead of putting me in go-karts, you actually put me inside of a simulator and I learned how to drive at a simulator first, I would be a much better driver today. And the reason why is because simulators, although they're incredibly good at, at trying to feel like a car, they don't give you all the feedback loops that you get that a car gives you. You see a simulator, it doesn't give you those G-force effects. You don't feel in your butt when the back end of the car is starting to lose traction. You feel a little bit of understeer from the steering wheel, but you don't feel it the same way as you do in a car. But the one thing that you do get on a simulator that is incredibly realistic or the same as what you have on the car is what you see through your eyes. In fact, all the information that you get on the simulator from your eyes is ex the exact information that you get from your eyes when you're out there on the street or on the racetrack in real life. And this is the piece that makes racing on the simulator a true tool that'll make you faster in real life. Drivers that start learning how to be fast or how to race on the simulator first learn to use their eyes to a level that drivers that start in real life don't ever actually build to. When you're on the simulator, you don't get to feel that oversteer, but you can see it. Now, if you start racing on the simulator first and you truly, really practice there and you just do so many laps that you really get comfortable with being fast, only by what you see through your eyes. Then you take that driver that has been training all of his time with looking through his eyes to see all the information, you put him in a car where now he can actually feel the understeer, he can feel the oversteer, but he can also see it the same way. He's gonna be able to see the oversteer and understeer before he can feel it. And he'll be able to actually correct these slides much faster than a driver that relies on actually feeling the slide to correct it. If you can correct these things much quicker than the guy next to you that has to actually get a huge slide going before he can correct it, then you're gonna be able to keep the grip to the ground and you're gonna be able to get out of those corners way faster, making you a much, much, much 
faster driver. This is why you have guys at the highest level like Max Verstappen and Fernando Alonso that race on the simulator on their downtime. It's because they truly believe that sim racing actually translates to their racing in real life. It makes them that much better when they get to the race on Sunday because they've been practicing. They didn't miss their entire week of practice. They've been doing it. So yes, racing on the simulator certainly will make you that much better, but you need to have a proper simulator. You don't want to do yourself an injustice by having cheap equipment that does not work at all, that just feels like it's really cheap. You want to make sure you have a simulator that's actually set up to be a training tool and not a video game. That doesn't mean you can't have fun on your simulator, it just means that it needs to be set up to where it feels like your car. So you're getting that muscle memory being built while you're in the seat and you're practicing. If you're a racing driver and you're actually looking into simulators because you need this to be a training tool, then you need to reach out to us here at Sim Coaches because we're the ones that focus on real life racing. Like I said, I've been doing this since I was six years old, so I know how things need to feel. And our entire purpose here at Sim Coaches is to link the realistic feel with the online world. We're trying to get these as close as we possibly can. If it doesn't feel like it's real, then it's not done by us. We don't play in the video game world. We play in the training tool world where we try to help drivers win their races in real life. We want you guys to win championships. That's what this is all about. And so you need to have the tools in place to actually make sure that every single time that you're on there practicing, it's gonna translate to you being faster in real life. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, then reach out to us directly. You can send me a text at 702-246-2295 and ask me questions about racing simulators. Pick my brain, see what we have, what we can do, and how we can actually build you a simulator that's going to link the online world to your real life racing and get these really close. So when you're practicing, you're truly learning what it feels like to be on that racetrack that you're about to go out and race at. With that guys, I'm gonna close off this video. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out.